just a quick update for you today the solar panels as you can see have been installed on the top of the arch now that's five 200 watt panels working really well apart from a slight glitch where one of the combiners decided to pack in after a few days so i've bought a load of spares of those just in case pretty much all ready for the trip to norway now just a handful of small jobs to take care of like fixing the starlink again so as you can see it's cloudy outside and We've got a total of 208 watts at six, six and a half amps coming in. I'm happy with that, more than happy. When the sun came out earlier on, I was getting 400 watts at 15 amps. And considering it's still winter, the sun's quite low in the sky, I, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like in the summer. As I say, around Norway. This has all got to be tidied up. You can see there the two Victron MPPTs. The wires are running up out through the stern. It's all cable tied up until the point where it comes in here at the moment. And I've got two more wires to add for the last MPPT, the little one, which will run the flexible solar panel, which I'm only going to put out on deck and use when I'm on anchor and can put it somewhere nice and sunny so with the solar all installed it's time to start thinking about what I'm going to be doing this year and that's heading for Norway the plan at the moment is pretty loose I'm going to go from here in Cornwall up to Ireland and then up to Western Scotland stopping probably in Stornoway to stock up and then heading for either Fair Isle or the Shetland Islands. I haven't made my mind up yet. Could be either. And then from there, across to Norway. And once I'm in Norway, what I'd like to do, weather and time permitting, is to head up to the Arctic Circle and keep going. Uh, at least go and visit one of the glaciers up there. And then head back down to Cornwall for September, October to spend the winter here probably and uh, then we'll see what happens from there <laughs> I might not want to stop, who knows it's hard to describe the mixture of feelings I'm desperate to get going and the weather's improving and it's getting warmer so the time to, to go is, is fast approaching I need to wait for the last of the big Atlantic storms to barrel through. Fingers crossed that will be all done and dusted by the middle of April. And then I've got the, uh, the obvious worries and fears about the long passages solo. I did 36 hours solo last year and that was all fine. So shouldn't be a problem but it's always good to have a healthy respect for the sea I guess as well I've got to get used to being on my own again possibly for months at a time that's going to be hard I've made some good friends down here I'll be looking forward to coming back for next winter it's always quite difficult getting back into the routine of being solo on your own for long periods when you've had a period that's been quite social so it'll be a struggle it's not a struggle that I'm unfamiliar with I had exactly the same last year a number of times after stopping at marinas to wait out storm meeting people and having a good time so not going to pretend it's not uh, it's not difficult because it is always is however the i mean the real joy of it is as soon as you get the sails up and you turn the engine off the rest of the world just fades away it doesn't matter anymore nothing else exists apart from you 
and the boat in that moment and it's a joy it's a real joy this video is a little bit behind real life so we've actually been out for a couple of sales already this year and the strangest feeling is you, you just want to keep going you get the boat out there and it's beautiful and it's sunny and it's warm and there's wind and you just want to keep going even though you know you're not quite ready you've still got things that need to be done looking forward to going and fearing it at the same time because I know how bad it can get if you get caught in unexpected weather and I know how lonely it can get at times and it'll be fine it'll all be fine no need to cross fingers no need for luck just get out there and be safe okay 550 quids worth of shopping not quite everything I need I still need more UHT milk they've run out so that should keep me going for a few months in Norway hopefully that should at least get me there fingers crossed I think I've got enough rice to feed a small army I've added at least another 300 quids worth of shopping since then the boat is crammed full of dried and tinned food <laughs> It's uh, it's it's amazing how much you can squeeze in when you have to. I uh, I'm going to leave this video here. We'll be back to sailing videos from now on, and I look forward to taking you to Norway with me. Peace and fair winds.